Hi, hey, this is Matt from Invest Quant. Today is Tuesday, June 15, 2021. This morning we saw fairly quiet opens that sold off quickly and has since kind of consolidated in the lower portions of the range. We get a little bit of a push higher right now, but we've been trading mostly in the bottom half of the intraday range, and we are the day ahead of the FOMC announcement. So that's something that we can look at here and discover, and that's what we'll be looking at this afternoon is what has happened historically if you are trading in the bottom half of the intraday range heading into the close on the day before the FOMC announcement. So I have selected all four instruments. The setup time is based upon uh, entering the market long at 3 p.m. Eastern time and exiting at the close of regular trading hours, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. Now, as I just said, we've been trading in the bottom portion of the range uh, the most, most of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and add that here. We are currently trading right at the, the midpoint as I'm recording this uh, video but we've been in the bottom portion the majority of the range and i need to pick a side because uh, there is a difference the the upper end of the range is quite a bit different than the bottom end of the range for this study so i'm going to add that the 3 p.m price is in the bottom half of the intraday range and that's something you'll need to monitor on your own to see if we are there at 3 p.m. if you want to um, see if this is going to be relevant for today. Next, I'm going to go into the indicators section. And I'm going to say we are above a 10 and 200 day simple moving average. And then lastly, I'm going to say that tomorrow is the day of the FOMC announcement. So I'm going to grab that from our market events section day before market events. And I'm going to say today is the day before the FOMC announcement right there. Hit equals. It is now added. Now I can click view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 3 p.m. Eastern time, exiting at the close of regular trading hours, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern time, when you are trading in the bottom half of the intraday range at 3 p.m., and it is the day before the FOMC announcement in a bull market environment. So historically, we've got 27 samples of the S&P here dating back to the 2003. We've got 29 for the NASDAQ, 27 for the Dow, and 29 for the Russell. Uh, win rates on these skewed towards the upside for three out of four. So S&P, 67% of these have closed above that 3 p.m. price. The NASDAQ's the one neutral one here at 52%. The Dow is the strongest of the group coming in at 74%. And the Russell... 62%. So three out of four of those have favored upside historically um, from 3 p.m. 3 p.m. into the close. If we look at the average win and average loss, the average loss is a little bit larger there for the S&P. That is not the case for the NASDAQ. NASDAQ has a larger average win, and then the Russell and the Dow both have larger average losses. So three out of the four have larger average losses here compared to their average win size, but three out of four also have uh, win rates that are skewed towards the upside. So it has closed above that 3 p.m. price more often than not, but when it uh, doesn't, the moves are a little bit um, larger to the downside there when it's wrong. So this again is based upon trading in the bottom half of the intraday range, and I have no idea if we'll be there at 3 p.m. or not, but that's currently where we're at the time of this recording. If I was to change this to above, uh, or in the top half of the, the intraday range, these results get much more muddy, uh, much more neutral reading. Some of them get a little bit weak, actually. But uh, there is quite a difference there, so that is important to pay attention to. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.